Good morning to you. Many of us read the prophecies in, in the books of Daniel and Zechariah and Jeremiah, and we look to the future because that's what they're talking about. Some of them, of course, have been fulfilled in history, but um, the book of Daniel is of particular importance because it speaks about the very end times that, of course, in Daniel's day were 2,000 years hence, 3,000 years hence, if I get it historically correct. Um, Daniel chapter 9, I was reading this morning. And we often focus on the very last part of the chapter. You know, it speaks about the period known as the 70 weeks, and particularly the 70th week, which is the one where we see it talks about the final years of tribulation. Well, before that was given to Daniel, he had to go through a period of fasting and prayer. And he really gave his heart to the Lord at that time. And his prayers brought him a great blessing. God spoke to him directly through the angel Gabriel. It tells us in verse 21, while he was in prayer, while he was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom he had seen in the vision at the beginning, he flew to, to Daniel, touched him about the time of the evening oblation and informed him. And he talked with Daniel. And he said, I've come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Well, we all need skill and understanding, particularly what's going on at the moment. Daniel's prayers were concerning Jerusalem, God's people Israel. And if we look in the world today, we can see that God is working, particularly amongst his people, Israel. Many, many Jewish people are coming to Christ, coming to know their true Messiah, being grafted back into their own olive tree, as the scripture says. Well, if you look at the news, you can again see the importance of Israel. In fact, Israel is leading the world today, leading the world in something that you would never have believed, vaccines and passports. Yes, passports to be able to go into shops, to be able to go into places of recreation. Um, Israel is the leading country. And it's no coincidence that the enemy is starting to use that particular land, our land, our land, the land of the forefathers of salvation, for his purposes. So start to look to the Middle East. That's my little message this morning. Look and see, why is it that Israel is leading the world in that area? Why is Israel the one in the forefront? God is beginning to do a work. The enemy doesn't like it. So I would say to you today, read the prophecies of particularly of Daniel at this time, begin to understand that we are living in the very last days. And let's commit every moment of our day to the Lord Jesus, that he will start to give us the understanding that he gave Daniel. If you like these messages, please give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, and please share these videos so that others can be touched by God by them. Thank you.